Hey, hey guys, Matt from Monster Tech. In front of us today, we've got the Sensation XE. This is the smaller in terms of size brother to the Sensation XL, but in terms of speed, this is the big brother to the Sensation XL. So, uh, we just got this in, so we're going to do an unboxing. It'll be the first time where we've looked at this device. Also, we're going to do a quick product tour and also a little tour of the hardware. So, let's check it out. So, front of the box, we have a picture of the phone. Also, a picture of the Dr. Dre headphones or Beats by Monster Headphones, if some people like to call it like that. On the back, we've got some highlights. Sleek premium aluminium unibody construction. Yes, just like all the other HTC phones. We've got the spec sheet here. So we've got the 1.5 GHz upgraded dual-core processor. The Sensation Regular had the 1.2 GHz uh, dual-core. We've also got a 768 MB of RAM. We've also got 4 GB of internal storage. 4.3 inches on the touchscreen, usual Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, blah, 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 DLNA, micro USB, 8 megapixel snapper with a dual flash, and this phone can record 1080p, which is something the XL could not do. That can only record in 720, so this phone at the moment is HTC's flagship device. Um, certainly the fastest phone HTC sell in the UK here, but I'm sure... In the near future, there should be some faster and brighter things from HTC, hopefully. But for now, this is the best. On the bottom, we've got the regular spec of the IMEI number and all that. We've also got some faster processor, longer battery life, and bundled Beats headset. Better battery life is a bit debatable. So, let's take this apart. We don't need that. Inside, we've got a black HTC box. Uh, let's open this up. So, just like the XL, you're presented with the phone and the headphones neatly packaged. So, let's take a look at the phone. This is a nice device. We got black aluminum, or aluminium even as we call it in the UK. <laughs> um, just happened to have turned the phone on there, so we'll let that boot up while we're doing this. Uh, we got the headphones. Headphones go under there. So, let's get these out. Let's have a look. So we've got the headphones stuck down with HTC sticky tape. So, black buds with B for beats, B for beats, red cord, microphone, all that HTC, so you know it's from a HTC phone. We've got the buds pouch with the spare earbuds. Monster, iBeats, 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 iBeats. Usual warranty rubbish. Contact us if you ever have any problems with your phone. Highly doubt they'll be able to help you. We've also got micro USB charging cable and the standard two-piece HTC charger which clips together. Apart from that, there's nothing. Rubbishy box as usual. So, here is the phone, wrapped in cellophane, let's get it out. First thing you'll notice, or I've noticed, is the Beats Audio red logo at the bottom, which looks pretty sick against the black, black rubberized bottom, aluminum back and aluminum front. You've also got red accent to the camera ring. You've also got red accent to the speaker grill. And you've also got nice red buttons. That's pretty cool. So this looks more like a, a beat orientated phone than the XL did because primarily Dr. Dre Beats headphones are black and red. So this phone looks more like a Dr. Dre phone. This phone looks strikingly like the Hewlett Packard Envy Beat laptop, which Hewlett Packard sell. Got a HTC logo on the back, 8 megapixel snapper with dual flash, some cancellation microphones, small speaker. Um, as this is an audio phone, I would have expected some bigger speakers, but oh well. On the side, we've got volume rocker, micro USB. On the bottom, we've got the release for the unibody back. Top, we've got the on off switch and lock button, 3.5mm headphone jack. On the front, we have a front facing camera 
1.3 megapixels indicator light at the top there we've also got the speaker grill the red speaker grill and the four red capacitive touch buttons so less of that let's get inside and see what it's like the first time so this has uh, the latest version of sense on so you get your usual ring ring thing the rings and here it is here's the home screen looks just like most of the HTC's set our current time yes that is the wrong time it is correct well done um, so this has the you normal as is now sense look as right, everything spins around in a lovely nature I'm built onto this unlocked device this isn't a carrier specific device so this is a bloatware free this is as it would come out of the HTC factory so we get uh, Friendstream, HTC Hub, HTC Likes um, what else have we got on here that's HTC orientated not much, we've got SoundHound is included on HTC devices, we've got the Twitter installed we've got Facebook um, all unlike the Facebook Sensation XL which came with Facebook chat built in this one doesn't seem to get it but not that you need it because it's inbuilt into the Facebook app anyway so just like the other phone the other Beats orientated headphone heads, uh, Beats orientated device when you plug these headphones in and you go to play some music let's see if we've got any on here it should have some music on it is a music phone so when you play this you see that little logo there Beats so Beats Audio is enabled so this enhances the sound it has two sound cards so when the Beats headphones are in and Beats Audio is enabled you get better sound quality now testing that out with these headphones on the other sensation the sound quality does get a little bit better the bass is a little bit higher it is a little bit louder um, I guess it's better yeah so you can disable it and that basically turns off the Beats and the little Beats logo will grey out and that obviously will sound different but that is the feature is only available when you use Dr Dre Beats or Monster products so let's connect this to Wi-Fi and see what the quality on the browser looks like so we have the regular Android and HTC Wi-Fi setup here just put the password in so we've connected it to Wi-Fi let's see what the video quality is like on this so let's just head to YouTube accept those terms and conditions let's head over to the Monster Tech channel yeah, wrong one there you go, there's Monster Tech let us play a video Let's just find a video, let's find another good one. Let's play this one here. So, let's see what the video quality is like on this HTC Sensation XE. Hello there, and welcome back to uh, Lewis and Heather's little game. Sound quality on this is a little bit poor from that speaker on the back. I would like it to have been a little bit better as this is an audio device but as it comes with free headphones which are worth as much as they're worth why you would ever want to listen to this phone without the headphones in I don't know video quality is quite good playing high quality on YouTube streams quite nicely here we've got Lewis and Heather playing Minecraft um, God knows what this game is some sort of bit game, bit people game that a lot of millions of people play but oh well let's come back out of that so let's check out the browser see what the browser's like see if there's any changes so let's go to Engadget my particular favourite website no we don't want the mobile version because we have a super phone super super phone we can surely watch that in 
regular. Sky Internet, slow as always since 2011. So let's check out the pinch to zoom once this is loaded. This is. Yep. Super quick, super quick. As it should be, 1.5 gigahertz dual core. Very, very quick. Very nice, very nice. What have we got going on here? Not much in the world of technology today. It's a Saturday, which is pretty naff for technology. So, all in all, this phone is pretty wicked. We got some application updates here. Oh, what is that? Yep, sure. HTC for Twitter needs an update. So, all in all, this is a pretty nifty device. If you're looking for a phone that has raw speed, but isn't too big, because there are bigger phones out there now, this is 4.3 inches, this is probably the phone for you. Black and red, always a good choice. The red buttons especially. Um, it's going to be pretty quick. Battery life supposedly is better than the old sensation. I know on the old sensation about a day, a day and a half was at best. So if this good phone could stretch two days, that would be a deal breaker for me. As I know for well that my iPhone can't last more than six hours. But anyway, if you have any comments or questions about this phone, feel free to let us know. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out our blog at uh, monstertech.com. Also, we've got on the Twitter. Be sure to follow our current videos being uploaded by Dan, Lewis, Heather and Luke. And for now, I'll catch you later. Peace.